A lot of women worry about their milk supply from time to time and maybe feel like it's diminishing slightly. And if this is happening to you, don't get discouraged because there are things you can do to increase your milk supply. First and foremost, it's important to understand that milk supply is based on supply and demand. So the more you nurse or pump, um, meaning the more you empty your breasts, the more your body is stimulated to make milk. So let's say your baby is eating every three to four hours. If you want to try to make more milk, squeeze in a few extra feedings during the day by feeding them every two hours while they're awake and do this for three to five days and you'll probably notice a boost in your milk supply. This happens naturally when babies have growth spurts and want to eat more frequently. They eat more frequently and it makes your body make more milk and it just continues to build as they get older and as their needs change. You can also do something called power pumping. Um, pick an hour during the day. Um, you need to kind of dedicate yourself to pumping for this amount of time. And what you're gonna do is pump for 10 minutes and then rest for 10 minutes and pump for 10 minutes and rest for 10 minutes and do this for an hour. So basically you're pumping for a total of 30 minutes and resting for 30 minutes, but doing it in 10 minute increments. And just do this once a day for a few days and that should also increase your milk supply. Um, if you're exclusively pumping, you may want to look at the quality of your pump. A good hospital grade pump is best, especially during the first two months of your baby's life because you're essentially putting in your milk order for your entire breastfeeding experience, meaning your body's more sensitive to things like the, the efficiency of the pump, how much you're eating and how much you're drinking. So those are all things to consider. If you're exclusively pumping, one thing to consider is, is the type of pump you're using. Not all pumps are created equal. A lot of women turn to double electric pumps because they just get the job done faster. And especially if you're a working mom and need to do it while you're gone, these are really good, but some are better than others. And remember, milk supply is stimulated when your breasts are emptied. So if a, if a pump is not working well and not emptying the breasts well, then you may struggle with milk supply. Another thing to think about if you're working outside of the home is how often you're pumping while you're at work. You need to be pumping about as often as your baby's eating. So if they're eating every two to three hours, then the most you want to go between pumping sessions is every three hours. Another important part of how much milk you're making is how much you're eating and how much you're drinking. So be sure you're taking in enough calories to meet your needs and also to meet your baby's needs by making good milk. You need 400 to 500 extra calories each day and this should be good nutrition, not just an excuse to eat two extra donuts or something. Um, eat whole grains, lots of fruits, lots of veggies, lean protein, low fat dairy and healthy fats. Also be sure that you're drinking enough. You need at minimum six to eight glasses of water each day. And while you're making milk, you'll probably notice you're even thirstier when you're nursing your baby or pumping. So it's a good idea to have um, a cup of water next to you while you're nursing and just sip while you're nursing. That way you're getting hydrated. You're making sure your baby's hydrated. If these suggestions aren't helping and you still feel like your milk supply is dwindling, make an appointment with a lactation specialist. They'll sit down with you one-on-one -on -one and actually watch you nurse your baby and see if any adjustments need to be made because sometimes a cause of dwindling milk supply can be improper latch because the baby's not latching properly and not emptying the breast fully. So if they can help you make adjustments, then hopefully breastfeeding can be successful for you and your baby. Some mothers, when they worry about milk supply, wonder if they need to supplement with formula. And it all comes down to whether or not your baby's needs are being met with what your body is producing. Some mothers do need to supplement and that's okay. Um, I recommend talking with your pediatrician about it and they'll ask you some questions about how many wet diapers your baby is having each day. They'll assess their weight, uh, weight gain and growth over time. If they're gaining the appropriate amount of weight and they're having at least six wet diapers a day, then their needs are being met and you can try to stimulate your body to make more milk. Um, but if your baby's needs aren't being met and you need to supplement with formula, just keep in mind that you may notice a slight decrease in your milk supply um, because if you're giving your baby formula instead of nursing or pumping, then your body is never stimulated to make more milk. And again, that's okay if this is going to be your long-term plan. In the end, the most important thing is that your baby's happy, healthy, and gaining the appropriate amount of weight as mentioned before. And if this can be accomplished with breast milk alone, then that's great. But if you need to supplement with formula, that's okay because formula fed kids go to kindergarten too. If you have more questions about it, talk with your pediatrician. And if you have more questions for me in the future, please feel free to ask them on our Facebook page at facebook.com forward slash intermountain moms and recommend us to your friends and family too.